It's time for business news with Richard Southern. And Richard, it appears many Canadians are not happy with their banks. Angry with their bank. Are you angry with your bank? No, I love my bank. I think my bank is uh, pretty good to me. I I'm wondering yeah. actually why people are upset. I have the list here, but I mean, I guess we've had our moments. You know, the yeah. fees are kind of high sometimes. Fair and I guess there's a lot of other things you could be angry about in life. But it turns out a lot of us do have a beef with our bank. Uh, complaints about Canadian banks skyrocketed, Melissa, last year to never before seen highs. The banking ombudsman received over 10,000 complaints, that number up 40 percent on a year over year basis, topping the list of issues that irk us fraud issues yeah you know sometimes you you see that on your credit or debit card hopefully the bank lets you know about it fraud topping the list of complaints uh, credit uh, other credit card complaints came in second followed by issues with personal savings and checking accounts uh, you know they think leading as well melissa to this uptick uh is the fact that uh, a new law now states canadian banks kind of have to respond to your issues in a timely manner and deal with them so people uh rightly so taking advantage of that Okay, and of course it is St. Patrick's Day, and not only is it a day to have fun, but it's also a big money maker. Michelle Mackey, by the way, getting the best assignment yeah. of the night. <laughs> yeah, it looks like a She's lot of fun McVay's. out there. <laughs> I know, here we are, you know, doing serious news. She's partying it up in McVeigh's, but, uh, oh, there's a nice pint of Guinness. Maybe we'll have one of those tonight. Delicious. We do drink more beer on St. Patrick's Day. 174% more beer sold on St. Patrick's Day in Canada compared to the rest of the year. Spirit sales, on average, jump 153%. We got a lot of economic ties with Ireland. We exported $818 million worth of goods to the Emerald Isle the other year, and more than 92,000 Canadians traveled there. 4.6 million Canadians report Irish as an ethnic origin. And boy, if you find that leprechaun, take his pot of gold, Melissa. Uh, <laughs> the price of gold today hitting an 11 month high up 64 bucks. All right. Now, this sounds like a plot from a sci fi movie. The creator of ChatGPT is a little concerned about his own work. Yeah, we were talking just yesterday about this chatbot and how it tricked a human into solving a test it couldn't solve. I mean, this thing can pass the bar exam wow. in the top 10 percentile. It can do all sorts of crazy things. Sam Altman, the CEO of OpenAI, speaking to ABC News last night, saying he is indeed uh, a little uh, scared of this. And he said it would be wrong of him not to be because they don't know the full potential of what this can do. He also admitted that it will cost millions of jobs, but he said we'll create better ones. And he said uh, the benefits will outweigh the negatives. He said this could be the greatest invention mankind has ever made. You know, Melissa, there's a lot of hope that it could help doctors diagnose diseases and all that. But it's also, as he says, a little bit scary. Well, as long as it's not like the Terminator at the end of the day, right? We don't want the machines <laughs> taking over. <laughs>